Before dawn breaks on July 25, 2019, the air over Sangatte, France, is thick with anticipation. A lone figure stands at the edge of the world, helmet gleaming, visor down, Frankie Zapata, the maverick inventor known as the Flying Man. He is about to attempt the impossible, crossing the English Channel, not by boat or plane, but on a jet-powered hoverboard of his own creation. The whine of turbines cuts through the silence, echoing like a challenge to history itself. For decades, the channel has been a stage for human ambition. Swimmers, aviators, and dreamers daring the cold, relentless stretch of water that separates France from England. But never before has anyone tried to fly across on a machine that seems ripped straight from the pages of science fiction. Zapata's invention, the flyboard air, is a marvel of engineering. Five miniature jet engines mounted beneath a compact platform controlled by subtle shifts of body weight and a handheld throttle. It's the closest thing the world has ever seen to a real life Iron Man suit. As Zapata lifts off, the roar of his jet engines merges with the rising wind. He is alone, suspended in the void between two nations. His silhouette stark against the pale morning sky, the channel beneath him is treacherous. Choppy waves, unpredictable gusts, and the ever-present risk of mechanical failure. Every second in the air is a battle against gravity, doubt, and the limits of human endurance. Midway through, he must land on a refueling platform, exposed and vulnerable, but determination burns in his eyes. Within just 22 minutes, he touches down on the shores of England, triumphant. Frankie Zapata has not merely crossed a body of water, he has crossed the threshold into a new era. The world watches, breathless, as the boundaries of possibility shift forever.